Welcome back, folks, to another portion of the house. Another installment of the house, I guess you would call it. Uh, that's some very, very disturbing news. You guys are probably going to freak out as much as we did about this. Uh, you remember the J45 Gibson and all the things it had wrong with it? Remember that guitar? Got put a lot of money into that guitar right here on this bench. And it left here totally playable, better than it has ever played, flawless, man, and the playability of it and the intonation and all that. Well, there's channels here on YouTube that hate me. <laughs> they uh, call me uh, a uh, dishonest guitar tech, uh, just all kinds of shit, man. And I've always been 100% honest with you guys, and I am with everyone, you know, that I deal with. And I'm going to prove it to you right now because this is going to hurt me big time. I mean, this this is going to hurt my business right here, me putting this out there. But it's the truth, and I'm going to put it out there for you. So screw those channels and those chubby dudes that uh saying that shit. All right, the J45 Gibson. You know how long it was here. You know everything I did to it. That guitar was cursed from the very day I brought it in that door, man. It was cursed. I mean, everything about that guitar was going wrong. The dovetail joint was offset. If you remember, it wasn't center of the guitar. Uh, the shims wasn't in the, the joint right. Uh, the, the finish bubbled up when I was heating the fretboard to pull it off. I, I've never had that to happen before. That guitar came from Gibson like that. Now, did all the work to it. Had it, like as I said, it was flawless, man. It played, everything was perfect. All it needed was refinished, and that was it. Packed it all up just like you see me pack guitars. Packed it all up really well, and I mailed it back to the owner. The owner receives it, and everything looks good. You know, the box looks decent, he said. Took the guitar out of the box. Took the case out of the box, the guitar out of the case. And right here, I'm going to put a picture up here and show you what he saw. You're looking at the bottom butt of the guitar, the very lower bout, back on the very bottom, where the, the uh, strap button is on the very lower bout of the guitar. The strap button you see is that strap button. Check it out. This is unacceptable. USPS Priority Mail. I bought $600 worth of insurance on that guitar, okay? Just... In case something like this happened, 600 bucks worth of insurance on the guitar. That's how much money the owner had sent me, and I had, you know, to, to mail the guitar back to him, and there was enough left over to buy $600 worth of insurance on the guitar. So that's what I did, and it's a good thing we did. Here's another picture. Check it out. Same area. Okay. So he gathers everything up, takes it down to the Postal Service, and has to take the box and the packing and the tape that I used, priority tape on it. It's a good thing I did. You guys, a lot of you say that tape's no good. Well, maybe not, but it won't. they won't cover the insurance thing if that tape is not used. That's one of their rules. Anyways, he took it all down there. I don't know, right now it's been... Well, you can look at the videos and see the last video of it and when I sent it. I sent it away right after that last video, like the next day. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know what all they're telling him, but the point is, like he said, they're just trying to hold him up, hoping he'll just go away and say, well, you know, forget it, man. Uh, he's not going to, I don't think. I think he's going to fight him, you know, to the very bitter end. And I would, too. And I hope he wins and gets more than $600 from him. That should have never happened. I don't know how in the world it ever did. Because like I say, he said the box wasn't hurt. It looked like it might have been dropped or something. But it didn't really hurt the box that bad. But it had to have been just freaking ran over with a truck or something. Or dropped from 12 feet high to do damage like that. Now he's got all that money in the guitar. And he gets it back and it's the whole bottom of it's busted out. You know, that's just sickening, man. Like I said, that guitar from the day it arrived here... I guess from the day it was built. It's cursed, man. It's just cursed. It's simple as that. Somebody hates the guitar. It's got some kind of evil spirits about it or some crap. I don't know. Anyways, uh, you know, figure to be honest and tell you guys about it. I don't recommend you not mail your guitars. I mean, music stores, 
all over the globe does it. These big music stores, they have guitars coming in and out of the store every single day. There's an orb. <laughs> uh, sometimes, you know, things happen. They get banged up or beat up or dropped or something. This is pretty bad, but if they stand good for it and give him the money, the 600 bucks insurance coverage that it had, then uh, he'd probably get the guitar fixed with that. He was hoping to get it fixed and finished with that, but I don't know uh, how that'll work out. Maybe he'll keep us uh, informed on that. But, uh, you know, that's that's unacceptable, man, by USPS or UPS or FedEx or any of these other... You, we all know how they handle the packages. And it's ridiculous, man. That thing had fragile, and it had fragile stickers all over it. I had an arrow pointing up, up, wrote on it, you know. And, uh... I don't know how in the world they ever did that inside the case like that. I mean, I get guitars here in the case. It's got the priority tape wrapped all the way around the, the case. And that way, you know, I guess you know that it's not being opened or tampered with that way. But I get them like that all the time, just in the case, hard shell case taped up. One guy sent me a Martin guitar, a little Martin, in a soft shell case. What do they call those? Uh, zip up, you know what I'm talking about? mailed it to me in that. Uh, <clears throat> it made it here and it made it back home okay, but I would never ever do that. I'd have to think pretty hard on sending, uh, shipping the guitar just in the case, let alone in a soft shell like that. But anyways, you know, I'm not hiding anything from you guys. It's going to hurt my business. I know it is. But, uh, you know, I just thought maybe you guys would want to know about that. If you mail your guitars, and uh, like I say, I'm not saying don't ever mail your guitars, but do take out enough insurance to cover the, the guitar in case something like that happens. Buy enough. The insurance doesn't cost very much. That Martin D42, I bought uh, $5,000 worth of insurance for that guitar. Thankfully, it arrived safe and sound, perfect as usual. Everything went perfect. And uh, usually 99% of the time it does. But with that Gibson J45, man, the guitar was just cursed. I'm telling you, there's something evil about that guitar. And you can't beat it out of it. It seems that way anyways. But no, no dishonesty here. Uh, those channels that are saying that shit, well, this is proof. You know, I don't have to tell you guys this. Uh, this is proof. I mean, I'm, I'm being honest as I can be by telling you that. I know a lot of you that probably are thinking about sending me your guitar probably never will now just because I'm telling you this but I'm being honest I'm telling you what happened you know and how it happened so screw those fat boys uh, I don't know why anybody watches their channel anyway they don't ever really fix anything unless they can fix it with their mouth <laughs> anyways uh, really feel bad uh, for the owner of that J45 Gibson wow man that's just uh, totally unbelievable, unacceptable. But anyways, there it is. That's what happened. The guitar got busted all to hell, and he's going to have to have it fixed again after he finally settles with the uh, USPS, uh, U.S. Postal Service. And they're trying to drag that out as long as possible, but eventually something will happen, I'm sure. Anyways, there you go. That's what happened to the J45. It took yet another beating, another licking, or whatever you want to call it. So uh, hopefully he'll keep us informed on you know how that works out if he gets it fixed and they they pay up like they're supposed to or whatever. Cheers! Thanks for watching. See you on another video very much soon. Hold on. <laughs> Woo! By the way, YouTube, fix the notification thing, man.